Hello, peoples! Triple G here with... Super Scourge 300. And we're going to be watching some new uh, Star Wars Battlefront game I was able to snag. Is that even a word, snag? Uh, kind of. Mm. I mean, it's not something people say a lot nowadays, but it's still a beautiful word. It is beautiful. Snag. It's, it's so plenty. Snag. We're, <laughs> we're getting off topic. So we're going to watch some gameplay, uh, give our thoughts on it. As you guys know, I'm pretty skeptical about it. The gameplay looks good, but as an overall game, I'm still pretty skeptical about it. And some people are, you know, kind of disagreeing with me on that. Some people are because they're like, Oh, it's going to be an amazing game. You don't know what you're talking about. And all I have to say is, it's EA. Enough said. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, we're going to watch through it. And uh, I don't think Colin has seen too much gameplay of it. So he'll... He'll, it'll be coming from a uh, person that's seen lots of Battlefront games, my opinion, and then for someone that hasn't typically played them that much. We'll yeah, call I, I, ironically enough, today I, I was witnessing some people playing some of the original Battlefront, and uh, so that might be able to give me some better opinion. Exactly, we can both like kind of compare it in a way. Mm. Uh, let's give it a go. So already similar to the E3 demo I've seen where they start off in the Hoth base. I do like how there's a lot more of it, because in uh, Battlefront 2, the Hoth base itself is very, very small. Yeah, I, this this is a lot more open, and with the graphic engine, it, it just looks prettier. Exactly. I guess it's a good thing. Um, it's going to get fucking confusing, probably, but... It'll be epic. I mean, look at that. Wow. Mm hmm. I think the ATATs, I don't know if it's just me, but they look bigger in this game than they did in the last games, which makes sense. Because mm. I'll probably presume that the next gen hardware will be capable of handling that. Yeah. Is that guy seriously shooting an ATST with a blaster? <laughs> <laughs> okay. He can do it if he just believes. Just believe! Believe. It'll take me two hours, but I'll believe! Yeah. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, okay, cool. Remote control X-Wings. He snagged an X-Wing. I think the word of the day needs to be snag. It is. <laughs> we, have, we, have to make, we have to bring that word back to life. Yeah. Bye! Kamikaze. Oh, As no. Luke Skywalker says, that armor's too strong for blasters, you numbnuts! I'm just kidding, he didn't say that. <laughs> I like how the ion cannon in that giant uh, sphere gun thing that you see is actually something there that you can destroy. In the last games, it was just kind of in the background. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> wow. Save your ammo. I do wish we could uh, fly up to that Star Destroyer up there and just like, you know, walk around there and shit. Mm. But nope. Do you think the, uh, the snow will remain crumpled when you walk on it? Maybe it'll just be temporary. I know some mm. games where like you walk in it, with like it'll, it'll show your footprints and then probably after like a minute or so they start to fade away. I think that's probably what it does. Mm. I don't think it'll yeah. stay there the whole time. There's some uh, chain guns the uh, snow troopers use, which look really nice. Yeah. Look how open that is, it's cool. Yeah. And detail on the snow all over this guy, too. Mm hmm. You know, a lot of uh, versions I've seen, um, there's a lot more like HUD stuff. I'm guessing this guy turned off a lot of the HUD stuff. Because, uh, yeah. kind of like Battlefield, um, towards the bottom it'll show you, like, percent-wise how much health you have left. Yeah. Oh, there goes that. Yeah, I was just saying, fuck, there it goes, yeah. 
Nice explosion, though. Fuck. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I have to say, by the way, I like the jetpack, uh, the inclusion of the jetpack, if you want to call it that. In the yeah. Game, because it, it makes it more open-ended. It means that you can do shit that you couldn't before. Well, they had uh, jetpacks in Battlefront 2, but that was only for, like, the one um, Empire class. Yeah. Well, actually, you could yeah you could use it for uh, the Clone Trooper class too. I think there was another class you could use it for, but now if we could just get jetpacks and GTA Five, oh yeah, oh shit. oh yeah. <laughs> I just want to say this might be different, but are vehicles only going to be controlled via remote, or can we actually go inside of them? Hmm, I was gonna say, yeah, this this is uh this kinda reminds me of like Call of Duty or like the newer Call of Duties where most of the vehicles you use are all, you know, wireless and like transceivers and you, you remotely control them and shit. Yeah, because wouldn't that make you vulnerable while you're controlling them remotely? Like what if you're controlling an AT AT, you're about to blow up um, you know something and then all of a sudden some asshole behind you kills you? Yeah, that's it's like that in COD now. Like with it, if you get shot, sometimes when you get shot in COD, you can keep controlling the, like like whatever you're controlling, and then as soon as you're done with it, you'll come back and you'll be dead, and then you'll respawn. I don't know if it'll work like that. Hmm. But I honestly hope it does. I hope we can actually go into vehicle by pressing like, you know, the triangle button or something, or the Y button or whatever. Hmm. Because in the last games, how you go in the vehicle, just walk out to it and press triangle and you're inside of it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know, if it is only remote control, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> oh, nice. Orbital strike. Those will be fun, though. I've seen some people actually use those orbital strike things. Well, that guy's fucked. <laughs> I got the player was just like looking behind him. He was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. <laughs> well, that just happened. Right. Yeah. The explosions sound really cool too. Hmm. Go. Might seem like a dumb question, but I'm assuming that there there is a lightsaber combat in this game. Yeah, the, there is. It was in the E3 demo. Oh, okay. Because I was seeing a lot of that today when I was seeing some of the old Battlefront. Just wondering if they ported it over. You can unlock. Um, they're they're unlockable, kind of like kill streaks, basically. It was kind of like that in the last games too, where like you you got a certain amount of kills or assists or whatever, you can unlock a hero, what, what they call a hero or a villain. I'm not sure if they call that in this game, but it's essentially what they are. Hmm. There's so much shit going on. <laughs> yeah. It's not like a first person mode before, I wonder what that's about. Yeah, um, they said that with the single press of a button you could switch views, which I like. Hmm. It's kind of like how it is in um, Ghost Recon. Yeah, here we go again. Awesome sauce. Yeah, they turned off a lot of the HUD for some reason. Hmm. There's usually shit all over the screen, you know, showing all your stuff, but I guess they turn all that off for this video. I do like this view where it's kind of under the head of the ATAT. -AT. I don't know why, I like that. Well, I could be wrong, but to my knowledge, I haven't seen what they had in the last games, which were command posts. Yeah. Unless it's like a certain mode in this game that they have. Maybe they announced it yet? I don't know, I haven't seen it. If they have, cool, but I haven't seen that yet. Oh, I just want to say that in the last game, as it was fucking annoying whenever you're trying to walk next to an ATAT, -AT, and then it suddenly stomps on you. I can't tell you how many times one of the uh, engineers tried repairing it, and they kept getting killed because <laughs> they kept stepping on him. <laughs> I 
Well, that happens. So, yeah. Oh, wait, no, we got some more. Wait, no, I'm just kidding. That's it. <laughs> what you think, Senor Scourge? Well, I'm thinking that it's looking like a solid game. A solid shooter, but like you've said, there's much uh, reason to be uh, speculatory, if you want to say that. Because there's a lot of aspects of it that people, like, like, like you were mentioning to me, the, uh, the amount of maps, the... I don't know, the originality is questioned because some of the maps are like similar to some of the others. There's basically, you know, the 12 maps included, like you said, are on the four planets, you know, four... A good majority of them are on these four planets mm -hmm. and nowhere else, and their design have slightly changed, so... I don't know. I've heard a lot of negatives, and, uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, like, the smart thing to do is not get it on release day, because you know how EA is with their servers. They just pump the game out as soon as they can, and thus the servers fuck up. So for me, I would say, mm. because, it, you know, it's a good game and I want to play it, but I don't know if I could see myself playing it for, you know, long periods of time, I'll probably rent it. And then if... if for some reason, my expectations get, you know, exceeded, and I'm like, holy crap, this is way better than I thought. I will proudly say, in fact, I hope I am, I'll probably say, I'm wrong, this game is, like, perfect. I hope yeah. that happens, but I seriously doubt it. <laughs> like you said, because it's EA. <laughs> yeah. So, solid gameplay, but in the long run, I mean, how long are we going to play it for, really? Because... Mm. Like I told you, no single player, no Clone Wars, 12 maps, and there's there's only, uh, like, I think there's only a few uh, certain modes. I, I don't know what, what all the modes are, but there's also, uh, I don't know if you remember what they were in the last games, but they had what they call a Galactic Conquest. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not in this either. No. Oh. It's a shame. But it does look like a solid game. I think we can both agree on that. But I would say I'm going to save my true feelings on it until I've actually played it. You know? Yeah. So, but let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Like this vid if you enjoyed it and wanted to see more of it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Oh, snag. Oh, snag.